I'm Kenji Okazaki, the painter, and also I have been writing the text, as all of the things I'm thinking about that. And uh, also museums, of course, one of the most, uh, my favorite museum. And uh, maybe 30 years ago, this is the first time to see this painting, with a Sergei's uh, talisman. So I was so shocked and uh, I started to learn a lot of things from this painting, like as a Navy school. This painting shows how Sergei learned from Gogyam, Ponnabe. Of course, it's an amazing painting for me. What I'm learning from this painting is uh, somehow we couldn't find uh, in the Sergei's later work and also Navy school painting. I found the same effect in the Cezanne's painting and also the letters, um, Matisse and the Black, such kind of hobbies painting. Of course, it's a color, is a shorts, is a tones of the color, uh, hues and the tones as a uh, Gorgian. But the rather Gorgian is the effect of the space are totally different for the Gorgian. So I could say this is a kind of synthesize of the Cezanne's effect and uh, Gorgian's effect. To look carefully to these things, what I most fascinating for me is every block of the painting as a color is can be moved between the touch between the blocks of color. There's a space that means every color of the block block color it can be moved and to make a different plane is uh, instead of the one plane is a uh, host to make this pattern on the flat surface. This is how the most famous word in is uh, Morris Dorin said, as a, I'd like to quote, uh, is as a flat surface covered with colors assembled in the certain orders. So this is a famous uh, the citation of the Navis painting at the beginning. So, but from this painting, every, e blocks of the color is not positioned to the one surface. And uh, when I'm looking in the every part of the color, the yellow, and when I'm looking with this yellow uh, block, and immediately this assemble to this yellow and to make uh, one surface, one frame. But if we see the neighbor next to the, this yellow painting, the blue part, it makes different order, different frame. So every time I'm seeing this uh, black and every connection of different print, each other always makes a different print. It's a kind of, a kind of very dazzling mood. More as a carefully to look, so if to so imagine this kind of the unstable, the always moving space, it's, uh, if uh, the person is uh, walking into the, this, uh, the unstable space is very, sounds like a dangerous to walk in. So, but there is a, one of the trigger or one of the things we can use as a rope or something to enter. So there is a small green line here. And also this is, uh, looks like a staircase here. This is only one small thing to tangible and uh, it enters uh, walking like as a creeping. This kind of unstable, always movable, uh, the moving spaces uh, sound like a very danger, the inter and the walking school. So, but uh, there is uh, one small trigger of uh, things we can walk and uh, like a tangible, the drop into uh, this green line, uh, that, uh, this looks like a staircase. This is a kind of, uh, makes this painting is a tangible and that means is uh, this painting both as uh, effect is uh, first as a visual, it always moving stable and uh, this kind of movement uh, block it makes uh, this movement it makes a kind of huge to expand this painting, expand this small painting to very huge effect. But same time this kind of visual instability and both and also this small things it's uh, this painting, like as uh, only the invisible, tangible effect. 
I think the black paint, black, uh, Giorgio Black, and also and uh, Matis, anyway, the, after the Hobbism artists always trying to follow uh, the path of the, this effect. So, anyway, so this painting is a very individual, and uh, even as uh, Sergei and the Morris Doni and such period of people is uh, still could learning from this paint, possibility of the, this painting. So only this painting so remained after the, these activity, that means still. Honestly, I, I have to confess my painting and the, my small painting and the larger painting is always, I got uh, influenced by the, this effect. So important thing is uh, between the, all the uh, color block of the color is uh, there's a small space, it can be movable and on, not only one surface, every connection and when I'm seeing this painting makes different space, we could, we could find. This, like, uh, I think this is a, just like a textbook of the old things, is an artist could learn from this small textbook as a, any, as a long time and the almost like a reading books. So even this painting is a very small, but content and the possibility of this painting is very huge. And uh, as a, it reminded me of the, some Japanese painting famous, is a Seshu, as a famous painter, ink brush painter in the Muromachi period, 50th century. He made so-called, one of the most famous, his painting is very small, like as this size. It's like, it's a whole screen, it's like this. It's just only a few touch they remain. And there's a description about this, his painting. It's a kind of uh, uh, tendency, uh, the custom in the such kind of painting. He described why he drew this. So because his disciple, uh, the student, wanted to be independent, and the last uh, day he asked, as a disciple, asked him to make a small drawing for a souvenir or a textbook. He said he wrote uh, the I did this painting. And this painting, he said, the session right wrote, and the, I went to the China and to learn a lot of the new te technique and the most famous technique most as uh, an uh, important technique in such period in the China. But finally, I reached all of the island, just only this. <laughs> you know. So just only four touches implies all of the possibility of the Chinese painting. It's amazing, and, uh, but very small. So only the painter, uh, the ink brush painter, could run a lot of possibility from this small painting. And also, this is one of the stories, is uh, I remember uh, this painting, Sergei painting, uh, remind me of. And the other one is uh, rock music. I <laughs> am being a big fan of the rock music. And of course, as a musician for musician, as uh, at that time a musician, musician for musician, is uh, Bob Dylan, the one with the musician for musician, and Jimi Hendrix. And uh, both of them, there is uh, one kind of extra not famous musician, uh, Billy Roberts. That he made small song and hey Joe. And this is acoustic, um, acoustic song like as a hawk music. So as a hawk music, it sounds like a very uh, naive and very simple. But amazing thing, the beginning of this song is a very extraordinarily strong and uh, unusual, and including a lot of the harmony inside. And Jimi Hendrix was shocked about that. <laughs> and this is a starting uh, point of him. And also Bob Dylan, uh, the, when he, he made a kind of astonishing song, It's All Right, Man. So it's all right, it's also the acoustic guitar song, but it's a, more than the acoustic guitar song. It's a, like a very strong rock music. So, but all of the things learned from the uh, Billy Roberts, Hey Joe's. So, always when I'm looking 
uh, the, she says she's painting. I'm hearing the sound, Billy Roberts. It's a nice <laughs> combination to sing this painting. It's a real blues, <laughs> in short, uh, for Navi, at the Navi school. It's the beginning of the youth culture.